and we're back this time i'm going to show you how to create another logo design using the basics only let us make sure in a view that the smart guides and snap to point are activated we will create an ellipse left click oh that was the polygon tool let me select the ellipse tool left click we're going to make it 100 times 100 click on ok align it to the center press v for the selection tool make sure that your circle is selected then press Ctrl C and Ctrl B. We've copied and placed another circle in the back. I'll make that 200 times 200. You can also activate this link tool over here. That way you only have to adjust the width or the height and the other one will be adjusted automatically. We're going to repeat the process. So Ctrl C, Ctrl B, then 300. Once again, Ctrl C, Ctrl B, and 400. So we've created five of these circles in total, and I'll add a sixth. It's the same method. So you copy the last one with Ctrl C, you place it in back using Ctrl B, and then you resize it. And now I'll give it the colors using the basic color switches. So there's one in the center, but it's in the background, so I'll need to select all of them except for the one in the center, then right click arrange center back. Now I can select the one in the middle and this color. So this is our first basic element. We can now size it up or down holding shift and alt. And I'll create a rectangle just like this. Use the Select to V, hold or drag a copy out of it, select them both and use the Align menu to put it in the center. We've got a plus sign or a cross. Now let me size it down and hold Alt and now I need a new copy. It's the same method. It looks better. Now I reposition the circle element. Find the bottom center position, just like this. If you now hold shift, let's see how that looks. Uh, let me do that again, this time I hold alt and shift. And I size it up to here. And it should give it better results. I select it all, once again I use the selection tool V for that, and then I use the shape of the tool I hold alt and get rid of what I don't need right here. Then I use the selection to V and I simply delete the two plus sign elements. Now we've got this logo design up here. When you size it up or down, hold shift and alt. Let me give the one at the bottom a different color and I use the color guides for that. I use this color, it's better. And this is another example of how to use the simple basics to create a good looking logo design in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.